Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ, bless. Uh, this is Captain Mattathias to my right. Officer Jediah. And to my left. Officer Joshua. All right, today we're going to go over police brutality in the Bible. All right, let's get into it. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2 and verse 1. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 1. For the ungodly said. For who? The ungodly said. All right, so we're going to deal with the ungodly, who are our what? Who are our enemies and those who oppress us. Come on. For the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves, but not all right. Uh -huh. Our life is short and tedious. So the heathen know, mainly Edom here in America. They know that their time is short. Come on. And in the death of a man, there is no remedy. There's no coming back from the grave. Read. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. Jump down to verse 5. Verse 5. For our time is a very shadow that passeth away. And after our end, there is no returning, for it is fast sealed, so that no man cometh again. Uh huh. Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present, and let us speedily use the creatures like as in youth. Right, so they want to live it up, all right, for their time being. For their rulership here on earth, they want to live it up, and they want to enjoy that thing. This is what they do. Jump down to verses uh, 10, on down to 12. Verse 10. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us do what? Let us oppress the poor righteous man. So while they're living it up, they want to make it living hell for the Israelites. Come on. Let us not spare the widow. Uh-huh. No reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Uh-huh. Let, let our strength be the law of justice. Let their strength be what? The law of justice. That's what they do. Their strength is because they make the laws in the land. Come on. For that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. Uh-huh. Therefore, let us lie in wait. Let us do what? Let us lie in wait. That's what they do to us. They lie in wait. They lurk, waiting to prey on the Israelites. Come on. Because he is not for our turn. Uh-huh. And he is clean contrary to our doing. The Israelites are what? He is clean contrary to our doing. If the world figures out who we really are, this kingdom is over. Read. He upbraideth us with our offending the law uh -huh. and objective to our infamy, the transgressions of our education. All right, from there. Give me that in um, Habakkuk real quick. All right, give me that. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 1 and verse 4. Watch this. Therefore, the law is slack. The what? The law is slack. Because the ungodly are those who make the law. Read it again. Therefore, the law is slack. Come on. And judgment doth never go forth. Judgment doth never come forth. All right. They can, they can commit a murder. They can set you up. They can plant something on you. But they'll never have to uh, go before a judge in regards to that. Give me the next scripture in Psalms. Psalms chapter 50 verse 16. Uh-huh. But unto the wicked God saith, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Read on. Seeing thou hatest instruction, and castest my words behind thee. Verse 18. When thou sawest a thief. So when the ungodly saw a thief, watch this. Then thou consentest with him. Thou consentest with him. Watch this. And has been partaker with adulterers. So when you see a thief, you pounce on him. You want to lock him up for years. But... When you yourself are committing adultery behind closed doors, meaning what? They're hypocrites. They'll lock the so-called black Hispanics up on petty crimes. We'll get life in prison for uh, selling marijuana, for selling crack cocaine. But they are behind closed doors doing the big time um, crimes. All right. From there, give me that in Psalm 64. The book of Psalms, chapter 64 and verse 1. Come on. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life. From fear of the enemy. From fear of the who? Of the enemy. Come on. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Uh-huh. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Read. Who wet their tongue like a sword. Who do what? Wet their tongue like a sword. So when they lie in wait, they can't wait to catch us up or hem us up in uh, one of the crimes that we commit. Come on. And bend their bows to shoot their arrows. Even bitter words. That they may shoot in secret. And what? That they may shoot in secret uh -huh. at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They shoot at us and fear not because the law is slack. They have no recompense right now, so to speak. Read verse uh, 5. Verse 5. Come on. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. 
They commune of laying snares. And doing what? Laying snares. Setting us up. Trapping us up. Come on. Privily. They say, who shall see them? Who shall see them? All right, from there, let's go to Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Come on. Whose possessor slay them? Whose what? Whose possessor slay them? The Israelites, we have possessors. They are the ones oppressing us every day. Read it again. Whose possessor slay them? They kill us. They murder us brutally, viciously. Come on. And hold themselves not guilty. And hold themselves not guilty. What are we reading about? Police brutality in the Bible. What you're going to learn is that this Bible has every answer and it covers every topic. And later on in this class, we're going to go over the solution to combat uh, police brutality. All right, from there, give me Deuteronomy 28. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 49. Come on. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. God shall bring a nation against the Israelites from far. Come on. From the end of the earth, uh -huh. as swift as the eagle flyeth. What is America's national symbol? The bald eagle. So it's telling us who this oppression is going to come from. Come on. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Uh huh. A nation of fierce countenance, mm -hmm. which shall not regard the person of, of the old. They're not going to regard the old. They beat up our old women, our old men. Read. Nor show favor to the young. I remember it was a clip showing a police officer beating up one of our young sisters at a, a pool party. Mm -hmm. They have no discretion when it comes to any of us. And recently I read an article about police opening fire in a car with three children in it all right this is the wicked on the earth this is the ungodly on earth and where are we reading it from the bible give me the next scripture lamentation chapter 4 verse 17 come on as for us as for who as for us this ain't pertaining to anybody this is for only pertaining to the israelites read it again as for us come on our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. Our vain help is thinking that our oppressors would care about us vain help means of no profit read on and our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. America cannot save you, black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman. Come on. They hunt our steps. They do what? They hunt our steps. They hunt us down like we are livestock. They hunt us down like we are animals. That's how they treat us. Years ago, they actually had a nigger hunting license. It was a legal thing on the earth. But now we see hunting season has come back here in the latter days. Right. Read. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. We can't even feel comfortable walking down the streets because we got to look to the left or to the right looking for a police officer. Come on. Our end is near. Read. Our days are fulfilled. Uh-huh. For our end is come. Watch this. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles. Our persecutors are what? Are swifter than the eagles. It's telling you who it's going to be. It's time you wake up, black man, and come back to your true heritage as an Israelite. Read it again. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles come on. of the heaven. Read. They, they pursued us upon the mountains. They laid wait for us in the wilderness. They laid wait for us in the wilderness. From there, let's go to Psalms chapter 10 and verse 8. The book of Psalms, chapter 10 and verse 8. Come on. He sitteth in the lurking places of the village. He does what? Sitteth in the lurking places of the village. What's the village? The hood across North Central South America and wherever we're dispersed. It says he sitteth what? In the lurking places of the villages. Behind buildings, behind bushes, all right, uh, um, down in hills, waiting for us to make mistakes. Come on. In the secret places. Does he murder the innocent? Does he what? Murder the innocent. It's just, honestly, it's in this day and age, the cell phone, right? Now we can actually record these devils murdering us in the secret places. Before, we didn't have the technology. But all praise to the Most High God, he is allowing this technology to expose these devils for who they really are. Read it again. Verse 8. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. Come on. In the secret places doth he murder the innocent. Read. His eyes are privily set against the poor. Against the poor. Read. He lieth in wait secretly as the lion in his den. Come on. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. Come on. He croucheth and humbleth himself. The poor may fall by his strong ones. He hath said in his heart, God hath forgotten. He said in his heart that God has forgotten. And I don't want y'all to 
uh, take my words as hate towards police. That is not the case. But all police officers know. All police officers are not doing the correct thing against our people. Read uh, verse 11 again. Verse 11. He hath said in his heart, God hath forgotten. So they think that they can murder us in cold blood and get off. And they're going to say that God has forgotten. God doesn't see this. That's what they think. Read. He hideth his face. He will never see it. Give me that in Romans 11 and 1. Romans chapter 11 verse 1. Watch this. I say then, hath God cast away his people? Because that's what he thinks. He thinks that God has forgotten. Read this again. I say then, hath God cast away his people? Come on. God forbid. God forbid. God has not forgotten about the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham. All right. So the question is, why does God allow police brutality? Isaiah chapter 59, verse 11. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 11. Come on. We roar all like bears. And mourn sore like doves. So it says, we mourn like bears and mourn what? We roar like bear, all, like all bears, and mourn sore like doves. And mourn sore like doves. Meaning what? We in the streets crying. All right, we're protesting. We're doing these things because of the atrocity and the uh, brutality that's taking place in our communities. Read. We look for judgment. We but, look for judgment. Come on. But there is none for salvation. Uh-huh. But it is far off from us. Why is that? Come on. For our transgressions. For our what? For our transgressions. Listen up. We are not innocent in any of this. The Most High God is jacking us up because we sinned against the Most High God. Read that part again. For our transgressions are multiplied before thee. Uh-huh. And our sins testify against us. Uh, what? Against us. Against us. Meaning what? When we getting gunned down in the streets, when we getting beat up by the police, those are our sins testifying against us. Read. For our transgressions are with us. And as for our iniquities. As for our sins. Come on. We know them. Uh-huh. And transgressing and lying against the Lord. And departing away from God. Read. Speaking oppression and revolt. Conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood. What verse is that? Verse uh, 13. 13. Come on. Verse 14. And judgment is turned away backward. And justice standing afar off. Meaning what? A lot of these police officers, even though they killed our people in cold blood, they're not, they don't have to pay for those crimes. All right, justice is not on our side because we sinned against God. All right, this is our sentence. This is our punishment. All right, come on. For truth is fallen in the street, uh -huh. and equity cannot enter. Read. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. Uh -huh. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. From there, we're going to come right back. Give me um, Ecclesiastes 5, 8 real quick. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 8. Come on. If thou seest the oppression of the poor. So listen up. If you see the oppression against the Israelites on the earth, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, come on. And violent perverting of judgment. And violent perverting of judgment, meaning the laws or the powers that be, come on. And justice. Uh-huh. And a providence. Read. Marvel not at the matter. The Bible says what? Marvel not at the matter. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised because it's of our own doing. Come on. For he that is higher than the highest regardeth, and there be higher than they. There be no higher than they. Meaning what? The Most High God is still in control. The Most High God still controls the uh, murders and the killings that happen to our people. Uh, give me that in Deuteronomy 32, 39. All right? Watch this. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy th chapter 32, verse 39. Come on. See now. That I, even I, am he, uh -huh. and there is no God with me. I kill. God does what? I kill. Come on. And I make alive. Read. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Neither is there any that can deliver out of the Most High God's hand. From there, go to Isaiah 54. The book of Isaiah, chapter 54 and verse 14. Come on. In righteousness shall thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression, uh -huh. for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Read. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. All right, so we read verse 15. We're going back to 14 real quick. We read verse 15 to show, if we decide to gather together and march, 
if we decide to gather together in a peace rally or whatever it may be, that's not gathering together under God. And guess what? He's still not going to be with us. But I want you to read verse 14 again. Verse 14. Come on. In righteousness shalt thou be established. That's the only way we're going to be established. In righteousness. Come on. Thou shalt be far from oppression. And once we gather together under Christ, we're going to be far from being oppressed. Come on. For thou shalt not fear. We ain't going to fear no more. We ain't going to have to look to the left or to the right. Come on. And from terror. For it shall not come near thee. We don't have to worry about police brutality if we keep God's commandments. That's first and foremost. From there, give me that in Isaiah. Finish it out. Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 16. Come on. And he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness it sustained him. Read on. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate. Come on. And a helmet of salvation upon his head. Read. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal as a cloak. Read on. According to their deeds, accordingly he will repay fury to his adversaries. So once we gather together in righteousness, that's when the Most High God will fight for us. And ultimately, that's when salvation will be given. Once the uh, elect repents, it's judgment day for the enemies. Come on. Recompense to his enemies. Read. To the islands, he will repay recompense. So wherever they are, the judgment's coming for them. Read. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west. From the west, here in what? North, Central, South America, and the Caribbean. Come on. And his glory from the rising of the sun. Uh -huh. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. Read. The spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. A what? The spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Against the enemy. Even though they may try to fight, it's judgment day. There's nothing they can do. All right? The Most High God is going to fight for us in that day. Come on. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion. Read. And unto them that turn from transgression. That do what? That turn from transgression. If you want the Most High God to fight for you, you must turn from your wicked ways. Come on. And Jacob saith the Lord. Read. As for me, this is my covenant with them. Come on. Saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee and my words which I have put in thy mouth. Come on. Shall not depart out of thy mouth. Nor out of the mouth of thy seed. Read. Nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, saith the Lord, from henceforth and forever. So, what did we cover today? We covered police brutality in the Bible, but ultimately, uh, all praise to the Most High, we know how to combat it. It's not with violence, it is not with weapons, it's with repentance and serving the Most High God of Israel. With that, we say shalom. Shalom. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us.
more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.